Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to another glorious episode of Jedi Talk, the fucking podcast, a Star Wars podcast. Uh, I am one of your hosts, Brad Hughes, and if it sounds a little diff, a little, a little, a little different than what you're used to, that's because we are sitting here live on Life Day. The hell was that? The hell was that? On was Life that Day. It was Gary. You son promoted him to a pilot. Oh, uh, wow. we're, that should be kamikaze. We are sitting here on Life Day right outside of Doc Ondar's in the shadows of uh, Docking Bay 7. And the boys, the Batu boys are back. The Bashu incident is going to be a thing. I'm here with the, all, all, all of uh, all of that one, that one, that one. all of Jedi Talk is here in person. Hello to my right. Yeah. Of Von Varick. Adiga and good journey. What a, what a good life day it's been so far, you know? What a good life day. Aside from seeing a couple schmucks that I'm stuck with at the moment, it's been a good life day so far. Hey, how dare you? I, we, I, we I wasn't talking about out. you. I was talking about that guy over there. That guy over there? Yeah, yeah. And uh, to his right <laughs> is uh, the very paranoid <laughs> <laughs> Thomas Oker. What's going on, brother? I think if we sit just at the right angle. Brad. So we can't hear what he's saying because we don't have headphones on. I know. This yeah, is yeah, just yeah, yeah, you by the right of the like, council, <laughs> by the will of the force. He's like, Andor's better. Andor's better than three pieces of shit. I can't hear him. That's okay. We don't need this, to hear this that. This would be a fun listen. Let's, <laughs> let's ignore him while he talks okay, about we'll Andor. Just have yeah. You can hear me now. <laughs> I said, I, I'll, I'll say Evan smells like cheese. That's what I said. Evan smells like cheese. No, I don't know. What a fun life day so far this morning. Gouda cheese? What kind of cheese? We had a surprise drop this morning. Evan, yeah. I'll, I'll let you uh, gush because this is this is like your fucking this is on your wish list. I think when we did that episode, yeah, we've done top ten sabers before and top ten helmets. We'll talk about the helmet well, a little first bit. First off, but shout out to I won't say who they were, yes. but yes. shout out to the individuals who allowed that's us. That's why I was not saying anything. To, that's okay, but I yeah. still want to put out in the presence that that people have have opened their arms, hearts, butts to us. I was going to say yeah. beeholes. Well, I mean, <laughs> last week Santa opened a sack for us. He so, did, yeah. And we have friends who opened their hearts to us today. Obviously, got us in well, well, before the Tom. Gen Pop. Yeah. Which, but first off, we're, we're Jedi Tug. We deserve to be here before the Gen Pop. Okay? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Get those unwashed fucks out the of here. The unwashed masses. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we were here early. Thank you to, to, to those individuals. You know who you are. You're you listening. Who you are. Thank you. Brad and I, I want to I wanna gush about Gungi. Um, yeah. That was the shock, and you could talk about the other yeah, stuff. Yeah, go for Gungi. Um, Brad and I both got a Gungi. Um, I wasn't going to get the one that Evan got just for pricing wise, trying to save money and like like if this and this was rumored. Brad shared it in our chat. I had I heard about this yesterday. Yeah, yeah. And it's like the well, ancient Sun Batu. We're speaking of it. We're mm-hmm. hearing and that we heard it. Gungi's lightsabers here and on Life Day, the light the Wookiee holiday, we got Gungi's lightsabers. So we might need to do an unboxing when I get home. Doctor, 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 oh, yeah. Wookie. Wookie. doctor, doctor, Wookie. doctor, doctor, Wookie. Wookie. doctor, Wookie. doctor, Wookie. Well, because uh, this was a completely unexpected one, so and yeah. I actually I held it in there. They let me like. I hate when they do that, though, to be honest, because, like, I if need that one. Like, do you want to hold it? I'm like, not really. Yeah, like, I'm going <laughs> to hold it when I get home. Do you want to unbox it like, while we're recording? I'll shoot it on my iPhone. No, I'm going to do, do it nice when I get okay. home. Okay, all right. I'll do nice. it nice. Nice. It'll be up tonight. So look okay. out for that. That works. Another, Yay, another thing to edit. Another video to edit. <laughs> well, the, that's on you. <laughs> and, <laughs> I know. And I still haven't done a Star Speeder opening. I know. So. We need to make that happen. Will you just go open your sack and Star Speeder already at <laughs> the same need to. time? Do what Santa did. Open a sack. Yes. Uh, but, but yeah, that was unexpected. But, I mean, but it looks beautiful, though. It, it looks like pretty. the Elemental Nature ones from Savi's, yeah. but on steroids. Just better. Because yeah, that's it, what it, it is. Looks, it looks amazing. Yeah. I love it. It's actually one of my favorite looking lightsabers. It's the, one of the most unique ones. It looks it's nothing beautiful. like anyone they've sold before in docks. I love it. But hopefully that means one day we can get Kelnaka and we can get Buriyaga. Well, I mean, I don't know why they didn't announce this for Life Day. Yeah, they should have made it's a bigger deal. Like, holiday. Like, it's I love Ren. Right. Legacy. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You want to go ahead and talk about it? Like, yeah. like, the Ren helmet in the box, the Kyber Crystal box, and the Saber were all the main That's drivers. what they advertised. That was the force of the force, the, the driver of today, you know. Which is but fine, but. They should have saved that for, like, a May the 4th. I agree. And then they could have done Life Day as a big Wookiee lightsaber drop. Like, here's. Here's Gunji, Gunji, however you pronounce do you it. You think know, like they just, here it is. Not enough people know who the fuck he is. More people know him than they do Ren. You think so? Yeah, you, like everyone uh, that watched Rebels. Well, he wasn't oh, in Rebels. Okay. Everyone that wait, wait. No, he was in Bad Batch. Yeah, Bad Batch and Clone Wars. Yeah. I don't think he was in Rebels. But everyone that watched those two shows loved him. They latched on to him hmm. the moment they saw him. So he's been out there, and people love him. Way more people know him than Ren. I'm one of the like five people that know and love <laughs> Ren. When that one dropped. And they like promoted it. Everyone thought it was like the yeah, Lego lightsaber. That's what his hilt looks like, the Lego saber. And then his helmet. Everyone is like, "Is that the the GI Joe guy, Snake Eyes, or Snake Snake Boy? Snake Boy, yeah, what? Snake but, Boy." So no, no Cobra one knows Ren. 
So That's I'm wild. glad we got Ren stuff. Obviously, I bought it. But Gunji should have been the bigger deal of today. Being yeah, like, he should have been the this focus. This is a Wookiee holiday. We have a Wookiee box set for Gunji. But uh, the other thing that dropped today was the Kyber Crystal box set. The first time you could openly buy the black Kyber Crystal, which for a lot of people that has inherent value right there. Because I know people buy those things for a couple four hundred dollars inherent value. They had uh, <laughs> if you if, if you don't have a Kyber Crystal or like your first time to buy two is today. Yes, that is a steal. Yeah, it is. Here's the difference, too. I noticed the Kyber Crystals have the printed names of each ah, character on them. Like, nice. Snoke's was the black Kyber yeah, Crystal. Nice. I, I think it's a it's a good... If, if you don't have any Kyber Crystals, you don't have any Holocrons, that's the way to do it. Yeah, like, my roller coaster of thoughts on this was it debuted... Or not debuted, they announced it. I'm like, that's freaking awesome. I, I'm going to buy it. And then they said 375 And I was like, not for three seventy five, no. but it's still a good idea. Like you said, if yeah, I didn't already have stuff. every Kyber and both the Holocrons, it would be a good idea. Yeah, hundred percent. So I think this it's is a, a good way to phase out. It's just out. one thing that's not for us because we have all yeah, the shit already. Yeah. But it's also a great way to finally phase out those Phase One mm-hmm. Kyber and Holocrons. They've been trying to get rid of those since what May the Fourth. Yeah, when the new ones yep. debuted. Yeah, well, those so are some sick new ones though. Yeah, so God, it's a good way it. to get rid of the old stock, make room for new stock. Yeah. Smart, I like it. So it's uh, not limited edition to three thousand. Yeah, that's limited too. I have a feeling it'll stick around a while. Although, although yeah. I do see people walking around with them, so maybe not. But yeah, the box does look great. Like it looks great. It's a good idea. It's just not for nerds like me. If that's going to something sell. in a box like that. I'm fucking buying it. Basically, that's going to sell. That's the problem out before that. Mainly for the that black Kyber lightsaber. Yeah. Well, there's the gonna be people like if I was going to buy it, which I'm not, I would buy it and then like sell that black Kyber for you maybe a hundred bucks, back. make yeah. some of the money back. But thankfully, I already have the black Kyber. I had a, a version black one and crystal, two already. I got lucky. And now Dallin has it. That was Ooh. my black cover crystal. I gave it to him. Honestly, if anyone should have it, he should have it though. He's a good man. He's a very good man. What's up, my good guy? There's Justin right hey, over there. Hey, what's good? Nice. We have an audience now. A studio audience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Studios, studio audience. We're already in rated a one star on IMDb somehow. I don't and know he's that, that one star. Yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah. that's right. That's okay. I believe it. Higher than I I would give us. <laughs> I I'm surprised at how dead it is this morning. I mean, this like, was the <laughs> lowest. Life Day, May the Fourth drop. I've sure. been a part of. Low. Oh, you mean like crowd like, level? Yeah, level. yeah. I, it, was, it was. I was surprised. I thought there'd be a lot more people here. Uh, when I pulled up this morning, which the last time I, I've been to Hollywood Studios was at like seven thirty. I couldn't tell you when the fuck that was. <laughs> but I, I was shocked when I saw your text that you were leaving at the time you you were leaving. Yeah. Even knowing that we were afforded the early entry this morning, I was like, "Damn, yeah. he's, he's on." It his was way. a struggle to get up. I almost laid back down. But I didn't. I had to do it for the fans of Jedi. Do it for Gunji. Do it yes. for Gunji. Oh, yeah, and the recording. We did the commit recording. to that. We did commit to yeah. that. Going for Gunji. Yeah, commit to that. <laughs> that was mainly, actually Brad's idea, Gunji. wasn't it? Yeah. yeah, it was a great idea. I can't, I can't, I can't abandon my own idea. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you could. Yeah, you could. And we'd still love you. But nah, I wouldn't do that. I've done it before. <laughs> we yeah, all oh, yeah, sure. We, we all, all have. We've all, yeah, abandoned ship at one point. Yeah. It's fine. Well, we, when you do a podcast for 10 years... You're gonna you're gonna be burned out at some point. Yeah, I probably just won't call Kyle today during Fourth the Weather. That's it's a good call. You, I mean, yeah. he's, not, he's not gonna add anything to the show, so there's no really reason not. to call him in the first place. If I just upload about 45 minutes of silence. Will probably I mean, get more. What listens. you should do this would be a funny episode. Just tell him that like there's connection issues, <laughs> and then just read off articles from IGN and be like, "What do you think, Kyle?" And just read <laughs> articles off of it. And she get like an AI well, voice. I was gonna say yeah. later just to sound like him. If and one read of off. our friends found that C three PO AI voice and it sounded just like Anthony Daniels, you can oh. find one for Kyle. No, well, no, I, I mean, you know, we could say it. I, I can do it. We could do it. You could read his like the in, IGN in the articles Kyle voice and you're in, in the yeah. voice. <laughs> well, you know, the problem is we should do that for Endor season two when that drops. Just do an episode of really? you being Kyle. Really, Brad. Yeah. Another thing, I, we haven't gotten to see it yet, but the over in the marketplace, Nubs. There's a I new Nubs. Him. Oh, yeah. You've seen I, him. I, I haven't I seen him yet. I bought him. I bought him the other day. Yeah. I, I love those little, for whatever reason, those little like handmade-looking plush. Yeah, the sure. universe. I yeah. I love them so much. A couple years ago. when they announced those, I was like, I'm gonna, I am gonna. need all of them. Yes. I, I think I have most of them. I even have the Boba Fett they did for... Uh, Made oh, the, the prototype that one year, looking the, the, the one from Dude, he lasted the like special. a day. Yeah. He was gone. He was gone. Yeah. Can we just can we just gush over Gungi's gush over Gungi. like symbol on the box? It's it even looks so like that's made that out of is, wood. But that is the elemental nature symbol. Yeah, that's obvious. Oh, so the elemental nature. See, Justin's looking it out over there. The Gungi saber. He's got the Gungi saber. Yeah, it's so nice. How cool is this? I know. Yeah, it's oh, so good. It's good. Yeah, uh, surprised <laughs> to be sure. But welcome, welcome on. That's right, of Justin. Tower, that's yes. right. <laughs> uh, 
So, th- so for us, for the nerds of us, that's like the best best drop of the day, in my opinion. Oh, these Lightsaber. are two like yeah. super hardcore deep cuts. Like I can't I, believe they did two random ones. I thought it was too like because I had heard it yesterday and told you guys about it. I I yeah. was like, that's wishful thinking. I, I honestly didn't believe it. And, and I then, thought like when it you would sent just that be, picture this morning from yeah. Shop Disney, and I was like, yeah. maybe it's here. Which at Shop Disney is November thirtieth. Yes, yeah, a couple so, weeks. Yeah. Well, at first yeah, I saw that, date? and I was like, Today's I guess it's not going to be here today. Okay, so two weeks from yesterday. Yeah. I take that shop, Disneyers. Yeah, you fucks. Or if you want to DM us on the side, I mean, we we will do it for you for no credits whatsoever. Wink, <laughs> wink. No, you I was wink? the wink. Yeah, you're <laughs> not supposed to say. Stop wink. Stop saying wink. I can't, it's not a video podcast. <laughs> well, you said it. <laughs> uh, I winked. I put it in the air. <laughs> True. He, like, winks on the, yeah, we, uh, ow. <laughs> <laughs> Stab himself in the eye. Stab Winking on the, on the microphone. But, uh, yeah. So we'll also have to talk about the Ren helmet because that yeah. was another roller coaster did of emotions. It? I did not get it. <gasps> I am probably I'm going surprised. to at some point. But when I it was announced, it yeah, it's, it's not going anywhere. <laughs> but when it, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, yeah. It could. When it was announced, it was just a picture of the helmet, and it was by Charles Soule, the amazing author. Um, he announced it, but it didn't show the box. It didn't say if it was Black Series, if it was Galactic Archive Series. So I was like, what's it going to be? And I assumed it was going to be Galactic Archives because Black Series usually has Hasbro announce it and really promote it. So I was like, oh, it would be Galactic Archives, which is still a really good collector's quality. So I'll buy it. And then like a couple days ago, they showed it was just going to be the... Galactic Archive no, or whatever? No, it's, it's not even it's Galactic not even Archives. I don't, it's the Galaxy's Edge helmet. Huh. Which is like they sell the Stormtrooper one over in First Order Cargo, but it's like Walmart Halloween costume. Oof. It's bad. So I haven't seen Ren... For myself yet to see if it's that low quality. Did they have it on display in there? They did, but it was on the top shelf and like so I'm gonna get in there and look at it, but it's not Black Series quality or Galactic Archives quality. The, so what, what is technically a better quality, Black Series or Galactic Archive? Ooh, it's a good question. There's only been one Galactic Archives helmet, and it was the episode nine Kylo. So it's hard to compare one versus fifty helmets. But I'm gonna say the Black Series is probably better. Really? Yeah, I'm gonna say it's better. They're less money too? Uh, a little more money. A little more money. A little bit. By like 10 or 20 bucks. Black Series was more expensive. Yeah. There are people who swear that the Black Series sabers are better than the Legacy ones. I've never even held a Black Series saber. Neither have I. I I Have I? I think I may have it like a GameStop or something. Don't don't. Didn't you have a Kylo Ren Black Series one? I, th- I like, thought you had one. You had your a Kylo, oh, yeah. yeah, a Kylo that no, wasn't it wasn't from Black Box. Series. Yeah. It was it was the one that they used to do here. Oh, never mind. It was the okay. Disney Parks yeah, one. The Disney Parks yeah. collection, right, right. Yeah, it was that one, and uh, I I I still have it somewhere. I assume I didn't get rid of it, or did I give it to you? No, you didn't give it no? to me. Because by the time I met you, basically, I had Kylo. Yeah, Kylo's. Basically, yeah. There but it is. There's the saber on box. It's gorgeous. Aww. Yeah. Yeah, the speaker is very ah, visible yeah, on the, the bottom. Yeah, the speaker is visible on the bottom Usually of that saber. Usually the pommels yeah, are that's amazing. A, that's a couple of... Mm, interesting. Yeah. Huh. That's good. Good consistency. It does look good. Good wood. It's a good consistency. Oh, wood. Very nice. It's very interesting. Oh, yeah. They made it thinner at the bottom, and then it gets thicker where the blade goes in. That's but Dungey's looks like that. That's what Kyle's I mom said. I think his does taper. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I like but that's it. That's very interesting that it's not it's as pretty. thick all the way. It is pretty, yeah. Yeah. Interesting. All right. Very, very nice. nice. And Thank it's got the um, it um, cover tech belt clip on it. Cover tech. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Very nice. Ren also has the cover tech. Yep. Yeah, the speaker yeah, is yeah. very The speaker is too evident. Yeah. 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 Great breakdown by Justin. Yeah, Thank man. You. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, dude. He's the man. All That's right, very well, interesting. We're not going to drag this out forever. No, no. It's not we'll a ton to talk quick. about. It's a little bonus episode for you yeah, guys. Yeah, a little bonus episode. A little, um, little quick life day hit. Anything else? Oh, we uh, should we announce the Oga's information we got told today? Yes. We can, right? The Let's agents do it. told right, us. Why not? Okay. It's going to be live tomorrow. That's right. So we got some Oga's information. Yeah. This is you. It's all you. Well, the, when we heard it. The ancients that were telling us this, they were confirming it, and I was like, they were like, there are new drinks coming to Oga's, four, four of them. them. And four. the first thing out of my mouth was, here? <laughs> and I pointed, I pointed to here, like the ground. Brand, he was like, I'm like, in here Disney in Bro- Florida, at Walt Disney World, Hollywood Studios. Yes, and that's what they, they confirmed. <laughs> so, I don't know what we did to deserve it, but thank the, the gods that... You stopped going. They're like, we need, we need money. Maybe. I have stopped going. <laughs> I only go on August 29th now. 
And that's why, because that that's the opening date. Oh, duh. They have a, 10 times a year to one time a year. They, they so. have a standing weekly meeting called the Boucher Resolution just, just to see how they can recoup the lost money from August. <laughs> they should. To stop going. They should. Because uh, if I went 10 times a year and spent 100 bucks every time, that's 1000 bucks a year they lost. That's just a, just so. because of you, that's where they put the new wishing tree on top there. Probably is up there, yeah. That's where you have to go tie that's the ribbon. Left of it. <laughs> Everyone who goes up there gets stolen and put on It's a Small World <laughs> for the rest of their life. Very nice. They get chained up there. <laughs> but, yeah. So, and... That's what I said too. The next thing I say is, hopefully the drinks last till August. And, I won't be and going they're back. getting new food too. Yes. Yeah, the bread, the freaking awesome pretzel bread looking thing. Like, holy crap! Yeah, good little day, man. Uh, yeah. Are y'all coming back later for the meetup? I'm not. Not no. for the meetup. No, we'll be here till like six or seven. You're staying here all day. Mo- yeah, most of the day. Jesus Look, Christ! I'm a I'm a Chicago Bears fan through and through. We're playing the Packers today. We're not playing well, but I I have to go watch that. So. That took me out yeah. when you said that in the conversation. You're like, we're gonna get crushed by the Packers today. I was like, what's he talking about? Because we're standing here in front of Docs talking Sabres, and I'm like, oh, yeah, it's Sunday. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah sorry. Yeah, yeah sorry. I, I just, Sunday's just, a thing, you know. Yeah. You know I'm going to go over and take a nap, people. probably. I was up yeah. two, light, two nights in a row watching fights. I'm oh, yeah. Exhausted. Everyone's pissed off about the Mike Tyson one. I didn't know uh, that was a thing even until Thursday night. I, I was like, what's happening? 57 years old. <laughs> I know. Oh, is he? I thought he was he's in his 60s. 57, 58, 57 But he was fighting a YouTuber. He's fighting a guy who's a legit boxer. Like, what did you think was going to happen? I didn't know he was a legit oh, boxer. He's, he's, so I, I know nothing about this. I, I, now, like, I want to see him actually fight somebody who's a real no, he should, yeah. real boxer. Oh, Ooh, they have a I new like tool. That. that is new. Justin's back with yeah, the, the, the NG Saber, and the pommel that, has, like, a key to unscrew it now. And that's how you were, like, that's re- awesome. replace batteries and stuff? Yeah. That's, and it, it's you. not a rechargeable Saber, right? It's double A's? I prefer the rechargeable. Yeah. The batteries... They have, they abandoned that Corrosive. rechargeable thing, huh? Yeah, it was Qui Gon and Palpatine, and that's it. Like, they should have kept it rechargeable. I don't yeah, care. Yeah, I, I like the rechargeable. That's probably cost way more. Sure. It's good okay. That's true. That's true. All right. Yeah, it's, it's it's like its own little. That might be triple A's. It's pretty small. Yeah. I think it always is triple A's. Yeah. Yeah, just a normal one. Here's a tip. That's a good idea, though, because, like, some of them, like the Kylo one, sometimes I screw that bottom on too tight, and I, like, yeah. Sure. That's awesome. Thanks, yeah. Justin, yeah. Is that, like, you're in the good, bottom of the box good. or anything? You didn't Is that, like, in the bottom of the box? The key. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. Sweet. Oh, Sweet. they do. Very cool. Let's check it out. That's pretty cool, Oh, yeah, man. they do. Yeah, 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 yeah look yeah, at nice. that. Awesome. Damn. They even look at that. Only, huh. like, five years later, and they're figuring it out. <laughs> five, six years later. Today, uh, no, it'd be five years Oh, yeah, we're, yeah, we're in November. Rise I'm turns like, five in a couple weeks. Uh, That's December insane, 5th, man. Walt's birthday, and yeah. Winston's birthday. Wait, Rise is five years old this year? Yeah. Holy shit. What is time? What is time? Oh, my God. And the functioning guns are one year old. Wow. Not even, a couple one months old. old. Yeah. Man, the functioning cannons. That was such a fun day. I know we talk about it all the time. Dude, that, that was, was so much fun. fun. Dallin and then all the, the sleep Kevin. exhaustion and Kevin and, yeah. Deb was with us, too. Yeah. Deb I, went I back home, her, right? She's not her, here anymore? Yeah, I, think she, yeah. I don't think she's here anymore. Dang. I talked to her the other day, actually. Dang. And I, and I said the other day, it was like six months ago. But it was the other day. <laughs> that is a, that's <laughs> another day. day, yeah. It was the other but day. That was a great day. Uh, I will be was. here again for that, but it, nothing will happen except for me crying on rise. I wonder if um, when they're going to close it for a refurb. It, it, it's been five years, man, and it hasn't closed for a refurb. That's yeah. When they stop making money on multi-lane passes do you think, or whatever it's called. Do you think it'll be... Like once they start doing construction and other parts of the thing, because then they'll have that would be in my brain the opposite time to do it. Because it's like, oh, Magic Kingdom's half closed. Studios needs more capacity. But studio we can't close. Rise. It's like you have to wait until Monsters opens here. I forgot about that. Yeah, that'd be the best time to do it when they're not destroying Magic Kingdom. When Epic opens, when the mag- when the Disney parks are empty, that's when you close Rise. Dude, that. They have got to get it fixed because if people go to Epic Universe and see all Aww. the crazy shit and animatronics they have over there. Yeah. Did you, did you see all the stuff that's on the Donkey Kong coaster? Yep. The animatronics? Yep. They made a Cranky no, Kong I animatronic. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're going to come here and it's just a screen of Kylo and he's like hiding, but you can see him like kind and of the ones on the bridge behind the same <laughs> over. <laughs> Man, yep. they need to wake the fuck up, dude. dude. That was good. I love hearing all the executive quotes. They're like, well, this actually going to give us a boost in attendance. I saw that. And, oh, we're prepared. We The last 10 years of us building has prepared for this. And I'm like, y'all are so out of touch. Yeah. I go to the Lucius Fox quote from The Dark Knight. Good luck. When he's looking at that guy who figured out Batman's identity. <laughs> yeah. Your idea is to a guy who... <laughs> Blackmail yeah. a guy. Like a bat yeah. and beats the shit out of people. And 
Yep. Your idea is to blackmail him? Good luck. Good luck. Yeah, that's what I say. To <laughs> good luck. Yep. Oh, uh, yeah. All right. Uh, happy Life Day, everybody. Happy Life Day. Um, don't expect to see me at the meetup. But oh, yeah. I mean, the meetup starts at like 8.45. We'll be gone I'll by probably then. Be I'm not here then. for the meetup. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Um, I'll be deep into... You're going to be looking at... Wait, Aaron Rodgers isn't with me. No, the, uh, I said I'm going to be deep oh. into... <laughs> Did you start thinking of Aaron Rodgers? I did. Whoa. Packers. Oh, he's a Jet now. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. When he's he not hurt. That? When, that he, when he plays. That was the biggest thing ever. Yeah. Yeah, when he plays. See, even Evan knows the that. Big, was, yeah, I love watching yeah, him fail because he's It terrible. was the biggest like, thing ever. Like a year? Yeah, a year and a half ago. The biggest thing ever. <laughs> when Aaron Rodgers jumped from... <laughs> Jumped from when he when he went from the Packers to the Jets. Yes. Nine eleven. Uh, Aaron Rodgers oh going to the fucking oh my Jets. The I'll biggest thing that ever time. happened to New York hey, was Aaron Rodgers. Shut the fuck up. I'll remember the next time that like some bourbon drops that nobody heard. Evan Brad's yes. be like, "It's the biggest thing ever." I'll be like, nine eleven <laughs> <laughs> bourbon drop. Well, I know nine eleven. Then Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> right. Then bourbon yeah. drop. No, I'm sorry, Aaron Rodgers. Then oh yeah, yeah. This is the biggest thing ever. Yeah. Uh, let's yeah. let's get on out of here. Yeah, yeah, I gotta lightsaber. go lightsaber. Yeah, we're talking about the two worst things ever: Aaron Rodgers and nine eleven. Jesus. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Don't bring me down, <laughs> douche. Uh, all right. Thanks, everyone, for listening. We'll see you guys on the next one. Uh, Outlaws is next, we say. Outlaws, maybe. Say. Doc on Outlaws. top ten, maybe. Who uh, knows? Maybe, but Outlaws is, uh, Outlaws playthrough for sure on the next show. Yeah. Let's do it. Thank you, guys. We'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, stay safe. May the force be with you. Always into booty. Rise, Jedi. Night.